no. Oh, I've seen this. This is like the sickest nature clip ever. Reptiles. Oh, you haven't seen this, have you? No. I've been I've, I've been watching this on the daily. A snake's eyes aren't very good, but they can detect movement. Are they gonna fight? So if the hatchling keeps its nerve, it may just avoid detection. I already got the chills, Brett. Snakes are one of my biggest fears. He's doing a mannequin challenge right now. He's like, <laughs> not moving a muscle. It's like out of a horror movie or something. Like if you stay perfectly still, you might live. Look at him. He's just a little hatchling trying to live. No, no. And the tension is driving me kind of nuts. Oh, sneak attack from behind. Oh, turn around. Oh, he moved. It chases on. Oh, they're coming out of everywhere now. Oh man, snake army. Yeah, look at that, man. This is a freaking snake party. It's a snake army. Ah, ah, ah. That's me running away from all my responsibilities. You never run that fast in your entire life when you're surrounded by all these snakes. What a nightmare. <laughs> this is track star. This is an actual nightmare I've had. Oh. Oh. This is not gonna end well. Oh! Oh no, guys. Just talk it out. Oh, oh she got him. This isn't fair. Ah! Yay! What? 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 He got away! Nope. Not today. Not today. It's the greatest comeback story of all time. <laughs> Run, you stupid lizard! This shit's amazing. This iguana is the man. That snake literally screamed at it and fell into a pit. He's gonna get out, yo! <laughs> Safe. A near miraculous escape. Hell yeah. He persevered. Persevered, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful video. It's very motivating, that video. <laughs> That's the worst thing to happen to any living thing. Hey, life is hard. Life's tough. Life is hard. You gotta, you gotta learn the hard way. That deserves some type of Oscar? Are you kidding me? That felt bad. I watched Saving Private Ryan and didn't have the emotions that I felt watching that. That was insane. How are you feeling after watching we just watched? Nervous. Exhausted. Anxious. I feel relieved. I feel excited. I feel like I just lost three months of my life. He made it though. I mean, this is a beautiful, <sighs> a beautiful moment of nature. He he lived. I feel inspired. It was beautiful. It made me feel like, you know what? I could I could do anything. I feel like if I believe in myself, I can accomplish anything in life. I don't know how he made his way out of that ball of snakes that was on him, but He's uh, he's a master. So that was a scene from Planet Earth 2, the latest in the BBC Nature documentary series. Is Planet Earth a series you've watched before? I've never seen Planet Earth, but I feel like I should have and will. I have, I watched the original series. I have watched Planet Earth before. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I, you know what, there's little moments like this that just are, they're inspiring. Not only are the situation's always really intense and crazy and you can't believe it's happening, but it's shot really beautifully. I've watched videos from Planet Earth. I watched the entire Planet Earth uh, number one, and I didn't know that there, there could be a number two. Well, there's a lot of Earth. But they went all the way around it the first time. But now they're going around it the other way. So the producers have stated that this is the first time snakes were captured on film hunting together. Wow. It was pretty epic, man, how they all like And there are some people who are handling the scene as the greatest TV moment ever. Do you think it deserves that title? Um, did they see the ending of Friends? Because I disagree. However, it was a good TV moment. It was good. It, I mean, I have some notes, but it was good. I thought it was beautiful, but not, not the best moment on television. No, no, it's not the best moment. Have you seen Cheers? In terms of nature documentary footage, it's... it's pretty up there. The shot is epic. The scene is epic. The tension is real. It is shot amazingly, and the production value is awesome but greatest ever, mm, I don't know. Yeah. In today's time where you feel like all the reality stuff is fake, you know, 
you can't fake this. The fact that you know it's real and and it's so cinematic. It's like you can't believe it's happening, you know? And then and then he gets away. It's like a happy ending too. Ugh. Amazing. Well, this is from a TV show and is getting a lot of love online. It has over 4 million views on YouTube. Sweet. Mm hmm. I retweeted it. What do you think about the fact that YouTube is home to just all kinds of videos? It's amazing. I mean, YouTube is the spot for video on demand. It's where everyone goes for not only the people they subscribe to, but the random stuff that just appears on their homepage. It's great because I can just get lost in it. I can watch anything from, you know, like, like cute babies to snakes chasing lizards to uh, to everything else. So it's nice to have a, a melting pot of everything. I think it's fascinating because YouTube is a global platform and so you're able to share uh, content at your convenience. I think it's great. You could, uh, you could watch anything at any time. If you're any organization that has to deal with digital media, it needs to be on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the kids are watching. Yeah. And the adults. Yeah. I think the interesting thing is how television production is now trying to they have to engineer ways to put candy, like shareable internet moments within like their larger show in order for it to be a success. The late night guys, you can tell they're putting skits together now to upload just to YouTube. Uh, and it works, because again, now we're talking about the overall show because of the YouTube video. The landscape is changing. I love that the evolution has gotten to the point to where, bro, if you're not messing with YouTube, who are you? And finally, back to the video. Most people are on the iguana side, but there are those who rooted for the snakes as it was a great feeding opportunity for them. So whose side are you on? People are siding with the snake. If you're rooting for the snake in this situation, you're a sick human being. <laughs> I'm team iguana. Team iguana. I'm team iguana. I feel like everyone's kind of rooting for the iguana. How can you not root for the little iguana? He's a baby. I was very pleasantly surprised in the way that the iguana was able to make his fancy escape. I'm down with the iguana, but I do have love for the snakes. Iguana 2020. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't vote for the iguana, you want to see this country iguana 2020. fail. Oh, I need that shirt. The iguana is such an underdog because there was only one of those. Yeah. You know, so it's hard to not pull for the underdog unless you have snake DNA in you, which I do. Uh, so I'm team snakes. I would be frightened to meet someone who was on team snakes. What kind of evil human being do you have to be to side with those things? So I root for the underdog, obviously, which in this small snippet of life is the iguana. However, if the tables were turned and it's a bunch of iguanas going after a snake, I'd root for that snake. <sighs> I don't want them to go hungry, but I also want the iguana to survive. This is such a philosophical question. I want everyone to be happy. Thanks for watching another episode of YouTubers React. If you like what you saw, hit that like button right down there. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and to all the channels of all the people involved in this lovely video. We'll see you next time. Don't get eaten by snakes. Hey everybody, Benny Fine here, producer of YouTubers React. Thanks so much for watching. YouTubers React is really a way to spotlight other creators. So if there's any creator in the episode that you're not familiar with, click below, check them out, give them some support, and thanks for watching all our content.